All right, well, we got a lot of bad news out there, as you have been talking about with these gas prices, yeah. but there are good things that you can do to right. help save your budget a little bit. Drivers yeah, obviously right. trying to find the best deal here, cheapest gas, and the price per gallon could be best at a place you may not have thought of. Yeah, which is really crazy. I mean, the other day I filled up my tank and it cost me $20 more, I know. right? And the national average price for a gallon right now is $4.28. And James, a little bit of good news, it's down a few cents from last week, but that's not really much, right? I know. It's not enough. Two, two, two pennies now. Earlier this week we were talking about one penny, now we're down two pennies, woohoo. Awesome. Well now, some folks are obviously looking for new ways to save some money, mm -hmm. and one option is membership to a wholesale store like Costco or Sam's Club. Mm -hmm. Not only for the discount gas prices, but gis discount food prices as That's well. That's right. So, That's Colette right. Bennett, a senior reporter for The Street, a financial literacy site, has been tracking this story. She joins us now. Hey, Colette. Colette, you're not wearing green. Oh, my oh, goodness. It's St. Patrick's club. Day. I mean, oh. you and me both. Good morning. You're right. I actually woke up and was like, oh, my gosh, interview, not, oh, my gosh, green. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. We'd rather have you here than here in green. So thank you <laughs> okay. for that. Hey, uh, can you just level step for us? We've seen some really long lines at, at Costco here in Atlanta, all over the country. How much money are consumers saving by buying gas at, 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 the, at the price clubs compared to membership costs? Well, the last time when I was doing research for the story that I published last week, I saw, uh, you know, it's a little under a dollar, but not by much. It's almost a dollar. So about like 80 to 90 cents. Um, however, the only thing about that, and this is something that you'll see reflected on social media right now, is that the gas lines are kind of like the trade-off piece. So, you know, if you go ahead and buy a membership, yes, you have access to gas other people don't have access to, but also that's everybody else's idea too. So I did see on uh, Reddit and Twitter some people waiting up to two hours to get gas at their local Costco. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a member of Sam's Club. I think it took me 30, 30 minutes the other day just to make it to a gas pump. So there are pros and cons, obviously. Um, but, you know, James and I were talking about this earlier, and we were saying that sometimes there is a catch, you know, because these... There's got to be a trade-off, right? Yeah, there's a trade-off. So how are retailers like Costco actually able to sell gas at such a discounted price? What are you giving up here? Is That's it the quality? Yeah, I was curious about that when I was researching the article, too. And no, quality actually isn't any different. Um, what the difference actually is, is that when uh, you go to a regular gas station, a Shell, etc., a lot of those gas stations are owned by individual franchise owners. So they're not able to buy gas in bulk the way a company like Costco can buy. So it's not that the gas itself is any different. In fact, if you go on Costco's website, they'll actually talk to you about the quality and you know you can find out what you're getting. So it's not that, it's just that Costco is able to purchase an enormous amount of gas. And because they are able to stock in a way that you know a smaller station that's individually owned uh, you know, stocks, they can, they have gas on, uh, <laughs> on the ready. Hold, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that it's stick exactly though? Right. Because at some point, right, if this lasts long enough, they're not, those reserves aren't going to be enough for them, right? So, I mean, how much yeah, longer is that going to be a benefit? It's true. Well, that, that's definitely a question mark and, and, and something that Costco has not addressed publicly yet. Um, I think it, it may, depending on how long things do go on in the Ukraine, and it is looking like things will go on for quite a while, they will have to address that publicly at some point. Mm. So um, yeah. it may not be forever that you can get that just about a dollar off per gallon. So if you want it, you might want to go now. But you can bring a gas canister to Costco and fill up on extra gas. I'm sure they have um, some restrictions right now, but if you wanted to do that now, that might be a smart move to make. Yes, the restrictions are definitely in place. I came across that for sure. Do you have any other advice at this point for consumers that are only getting these memberships specifically for the savings? I mean, what else did you find when you're researching the topic? Is there anything else that you can tell consumers? Because we're all hurting right now. <laughs> Help. No, of course. I mean, and it, it is definitely difficult. I mean, I would definitely advise that if you don't own a gas can, you might want to consider getting one and also, you know, going and getting whatever you are allowed to get extra at a Costco or a Sam's Club, which you can also get gasoline at. Um, other than that, unfortunately, we're all kind of under the gun right now as far as you know what people are able to get at the gas station so if you are really hurting and you want to save a little bit uh 
you know, and you're willing to wait at the pumps, this would probably be your best move for now is to get one of these memberships. You know, the irony in all of that is you're sitting there waiting at the pump and you're burning fuel and then yeah. by the time right. you finally make it to the gas pump, it doesn't really matter. You've kind of burned off your savings. A lot of variables so. here. Depends on where you live. Depends on, you know, how much you're really going to save. Yes. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like dollars and cents, Colette. And Colette, just one more, one more quick question. So do you really, really think it's worth it at the end of the day to be a member? For the gas. I mean, uh, for myself personally, no. I mean, you know, I guess it depends on what you drive. Okay, um, you know, you if go. you drive a gas guzzling car, you could really be hurting when you get to the pump. Yeah. But if you drive something like a Honda or something very economical, no, I, I don't think it's worth, you know, waiting at the pump for an hour or more just to fill up and save, you know, 15 or $17. So for Veronica and her Harley, it may not be worth it. <laughs> anyway, I have a Prius. Colette, what are you talking about? Colette. Thank you very much. Senior reporter for The Street, I appreciate you. Even if you're not wearing green.